I'm going to ask you to turn to Matthew's Gospel. Matthew, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, amen, is where we're going to read from. And we're going to continue in the series that my wife entitled Kingdom Minded, amen, hallelujah. We want to make sure that we are kingdom minded, amen, hallelujah. And what we discovered is because we live in the United States, oftentimes we may not think kingdom-wise. We probably think republic-wise. We think, hallelujah, concerning having a president that is voted in instead of a king, hallelujah, that can't be voted out. Hallelujah. We've got a king, hallelujah, who owns everything. We've got a king whose word is law. We've got a king whose kingdom, hallelujah, is, a, is an extension of his power, influence, code of ethics, code of conduct, amen. We've got a king who every child of the king is royalty, amen, hallelujah. In the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, hallelujah, Jesus Christ is our king, amen. Hallelujah. And because every child of the king is a king, hallelujah, he then is the king of kings. Amen. Hallelujah. And because we are kings in the kingdom under the king of kings, hallelujah, that makes you and me ambassadors. Amen. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to talk to you about kingdom business. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, handle your business. Handle your business. Amen. Hallelujah. Kingdom business. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. Familiar verse of scripture. Hallelujah. Let us read it together. It says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. We see here Jesus is given what's commonly called the Great Commission. Hallelujah. He's given us the mission, amen, hallelujah, of expanding the kingdom of heaven, hallelujah, expanding the influence, code of ethics, code of conduct of the king, hallelujah, throughout the kingdom, hallelujah. That's our job as subordinate kings in the kingdom or what is more commonly referred to as ambassadors, amen. Hallelujah. Let's go one other place. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. You are an ambassador for Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You've been commissioned. Hallelujah. You've been set aside, set apart. Hallelujah. And commissioned to do a mission. Hallelujah. For God. Which has reached the world with. Hallelujah. The word of the kingdom. I think I said it before, I'll say it again. Jesus Christ didn't come with a religion. He came with a kingdom. Hallelujah. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was bringing to us the good news of a kingdom. Hallelujah. And he's the king. Hallelujah. And what I want us to know is this our job, it's our purpose, it's our mission, it's the great commission. Hallelujah. For us to extend the kingdom. Hallelujah. Throughout the world. Amen. Ambassadors, it says, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Hallelujah. The writer Paul said we are ambassadors for Christ. Amen. An ambassador is an authorized representative or messenger. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a diplomatic agent of the highest rank. Hallelujah. Credited to a foreign government or sovereign um, country where the sent one, the ambassador, goes and represents the country that he's sent from. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Just in case you didn't know we're in the world, but not of the world. Hallelujah. We're of or we're from. Hallelujah. Heaven. Heaven is our home. Amen. Hallelujah. We're seated with Jesus in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are citizens of the kingdom of heaven. Heaven, amen. Hallelujah. Let's go somewhere. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. Because I want you to see, amen. Although your residence might be Kansas, Missouri, wherever you are, hallelujah, your citizenship is heaven. Amen. Amen. We got to get this, like I said, we got to be kingdom minded, honey bun. Because many people think we're trying to make it to heaven. Heaven is already your home. You're already a citizen of heaven. Hallelujah. Therefore, we should act like it. Hallelujah. Act like where we come from. Act like who we represent. Amen. Hallelujah. It changes the motive and the motivation for why we do. I'm not doing what I do to try to make it to heaven. 99 and a half won't do. No, I do what I do out of an attitude of gratitude because of the assignment put upon me by the king. He's blessed me, hallelujah, and anointed me and appointed me to be a representative of him. Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 says, our citizenship is in heaven. And from it we also await a savior. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ who's coming back again. Amen. Hallelujah. Our citizenship is heaven. Hallelujah. Our host country that we've been sent to is the world. Amen. Amen. First Peter chapter 1 verses 16 and 17 says, Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Act like where you come from. Act like who sent you. Amen. The old folks will say, act like you got some home training. Amen. Hallelujah. Our heaven is our home. We need to act like we have some home training. Be holy as he is holy. And if ye call on the Father who without respect to persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. So joining means I'm only passing through. Amen? Hallelujah. This is not my permanent residence. Hallelujah. I'm an ambassador sent. Hallelujah. As a representative of the country that I come from. The country of heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm coming through and I'm only passing through. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 2 verses 11 and 12. And this is the New American Bible that I'm reading. It says, Beloved, I urge you as aliens and sojourners. Amen. Hallelujah. Christians whose citizenship is from another place. Amen. Heaven to you to keep away from worldly desires. Amen. Hallelujah. Your kingdom is heaven. And your king has assigned you to be an influence on the people around you. Hallelujah. Don't let them influence you. Keep away from worldly desires to wage war against the soul. Maintain good conduct among the Gentiles. So that they speak of you as evildoers, they may observe your good works and glorify God on the day of visitation. Make it so that if somebody says something about bad about you, they got to be lying. Hallelujah, because you are an ambassador. Live like you represent heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. As an ambassador, amen, the purpose of an ambassador. You know, I had to look this up on Wikipedia. <laughs> Hallelujah. On Wikipedia, the purpose of an ambassador is to preserve the protection, the prosperity, and the peace of the citizens from the home country that are in the host country. In other words, we're supposed to be preaching peace, prosperity, and the protection of God to the citizens of the kingdom of heaven to let them know the benefits and the blessings that come along with being part of, hallelujah, the 
country the centers, being part of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. My job as an ambassador, hallelujah, is to let my fellow citizens of heaven know, hallelujah, you're not subject to, amen, the things that uh, the rest of the world is subject to. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. What are we preaching, amen, as ambassadors, as ministers, as representatives of the kingdom of heaven? Are we preaching that God is a God that will protect? Are we preaching that God, hallelujah, is a God that will preserve? Are we preaching that God is a God that will give prosperity? Are we preaching that God is a God that will give us peace? Amen? Amen? Don't accept the world's message, hallelujah, when you should be preaching the king's message. Yes. Amen. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Yes, it's important that in this season, Deacon, that we, the church, don't forget, hallelujah, who we represent, hallelujah, and who sent us, Amen. and whose government, hallelujah, who's put the government upon his shoulders, hallelujah, and whose charge we are under, hallelujah, whose king, hallelujah, we have, we have the King, Jesus Christ, and we are under his reign, hallelujah, and we need to preach his message of peace, prosperity, and the protection of heaven is upon his people. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't get so caught up in what's going on around you that you forget, hallelujah, about the one who loves you and who sent you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's easy to do. It's easy to get caught up in what you hear. Amen. As the media pummels you. Amen. And the people around you talk to you about the things that they're going through. It's easy to get caught up in the world. But what God has done is give you his word. Hallelujah. As an assignment as an ambassador. You know, an ambassador is given a formal letter. It's called a letter of credence. And this letter of credence is appointed to, it's a, it appoints the ambassador as a diplomatic representative of the nation that it comes from. And these diplomatic credentials, the letter of credence, hallelujah, are what the ambassador is given that qualify them to represent the king. You've been given a letter of credence. You've been given, hallelujah, diplomatic credentials. It's called the B-I-B-L-E, amen? Hallelujah. And the word of God that has been given to you and me, it qualifies us, hallelujah, and sanctifies us as ambassadors to represent the king. So don't get caught up in what they say, but only speak what he says. Jesus was our perfect example and he says, I'm under commandment what I should say and what I should speak. I come not of my own volition, talking my own thing, speaking my own message, but everything I say and do, it comes from the Father. That's the same assignment that God has given to me and you as ambassadors. What I say and what I speak, hallelujah, is what he says and what he speaks in the B-I-B-L-E. And it should be preaching peace, prosperity, hallelujah, and the protection that has been given to you and me. Amen? Amen. You know what that protection is called? It's called diplomatic immunity. Mm, hallelujah. Diplomatic immunity, hallelujah, where the rules and laws of the land, hallelujah, what, what they say, hallelujah, it don't apply to me and you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The limitations that people place upon their life. Hallelujah. That doesn't apply to us. Why? Because we represent the king of kings. Hallelujah. We're ambassadors and we have diplomatic immunity. Hallelujah. To the things that override. Hallelujah. And push the world down. 
I said on Sunday, the law of gravity, hallelujah, is the world's way. It keeps you down, pulls you down, keeps you down. We live in a down world, but we're supposed to know how to live up in a down world. To live right in a wrong world. To do good in a bad world. Hallelujah. Because of the things that apply to the world don't necessarily apply to you and me. It's diplomatic immunity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Diplomatic immunity. Why, does it th why is it even a thing? It's because it's necessary for you and me to, in order for us to be able to do what we're assigned to do, we can't be burdened down and bogged down with all the things, that, the cumbersome things that bog down the world. You can't live like the world and represent the king. Amen? I'm not, I'm talking, and see, when I'm talking about the world, I'm not necessarily talking about dro drunk, um, drinking, smoking, you know, and all the things that happen in what the church often refers to as the world. I'm talking about this cosmos, this system, the world's way of doing things without God, where they don't think that certain things are possible, and they think that th certain things are inevitable. I'm telling you, as a child of God, a representative of the kingdom, hallelujah, certain things don't apply to you. Why? Because you got work to do. Because you're not only supposed to teach and preach the kingdom, you're supposed to live it. Yes, it's not just a message you preach with your lips. It's supposed to be a message you live with your life. Hallelujah. And when you talk about the protection of the Lord, hallelujah, you should be living like you protect it. When you talk about the prosperity of God, hallelujah, it should be evident upon your life. And I'm not just talking about financial increase, although that is part of it, amen, hallelujah. But I'm talking about you ought to have a life that's prosperous in every area of your life, whether it be financial, social, spiritual, hallelujah, educational. You ought to have the word of God working in your life, in every area of your life. So if somebody disagrees with what you're preaching, they can't disagree with how you're living. Because you're an ambassador. You are a representative of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. That's the privilege of an ambassador. Diplomatic immunity. So we have a purpose, which is the preserve, preservation of peace, prosperity, and the protection of the citizens of the kingdom of heaven. We have the privilege of diplomatic community, hallelujah, where the things, the limitations placed upon the world don't apply to you and me. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Certain things you shouldn't let come out of your mouth because it don't apply to you. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. As the sayings go, amen, hallelujah, you got to watch what you say, amen, amen, hallelujah, so that it doesn't become part of your life, part of your life, amen, taking on things that don't have nothing to do with the kingdom, amen, amen. hallelujah, watch what you say, hallelujah. And don't let the world's way of thinking creep into your way of thinking so that you take yourself down, hallelujah, from the assignment given to you to live, hallelujah, according to what the world says you can do. The power of an ambassador. The power of an ambassador is to speak on behalf of the king that he represents to the head of the nation he's been sent to. And just in case you didn't know, the head of the cosmos, the world system, hallelujah, is the devil, the God of this world. Amen? The prince of the powers of the air. 
But as an ambassador, you've been given power and authority to speak directly to him. Hallelujah. And lay down the law. Hallelujah. Of what God, the King of Kings, has said. Amen. Hallelujah. And as you speak what God has said, make the declaration. Hallelujah. You change the situations around you because, hallelujah, God's word has deemed it to be so. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You talk directly to, like I said, the, the, the letter of credence, the Bible is our letter of credence, and the ambassador's job is when he gets into the host country is to go directly to the king or the head of that country and serve him the letter. When you're right there in the devil's camp, when you're going through the storm, when things seem to be one way, you need to have the boldness to declare, hallelujah, God's way. Luke's gospel chapter 10 verse 19 says behold I have given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you hallelujah you got power hallelujah, hallelujah. as an ambassador yes. to speak directly to the devil hallelujah and remind him that his place is under your feet Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As representatives of the kingdom, you declare, hallelujah, the word of God. Hallelujah. You declare, hallelujah, the peace of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says your peace is transferable. Hallelujah. If you go somewhere and they don't receive your peace, hallelujah, the Bible says wipe the dust off your feet. Hallelujah. If you go somewhere and start to preach that the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard their heart and their mind. Hallelujah. They need to receive it. Why? It's the word of a king. And where the word, the king's word is, there is power. You need to speak directly to, hallelujah, the devil is coming against you to let him know his place. His place is under your feet. Remind him of his destiny and his destination. He's going to hell without you. Woo, hallelujah. Don't be afraid to talk to the devil. Hallelujah. You've been given the power to do it. Hallelujah. To cast out devils. And to cause the devil to re be reminded that he's already a defeated foe. As you speak the words of the king. The Bible says you don't come in your authority. You don't pray in your authority, but you come in the authority, hallelujah, of the King of Kings. In the name of Jesus, it'll be done. It's not in my name, but it's in the name of the King. It's in the name of the King of Kings. Hallelujah. I'm just the representative that he sent. Commonwealth of heaven. And it's my job to expand the borders and the reach, hallelujah, of the kingdom of heaven on the earth so that the kingdoms of the world are become the kingdoms of our God. And it can't happen if I'm too timid, too shy, too afraid to speak the word that the king gave to me. Church, this is not the time to shy away from your assignment of being an ambassador. But this is the time for you to boldly speak and say what the king says in the letter of credence that he gave to you, the B-I-B-L-E, and tell the world and tell the devil, hallelujah, 
who your king is. Hallelujah. The king of kings. We're in the world, but not of the world. We're only passing through. But as I pass through, hallelujah, every place that the soles of my feet tread, hallelujah, God has given it to me as an embassy, hallelujah, to establish the reign and rule of the King of Kings. His name is Jesus. And I'm just the voice. He's the King. I'm the voice that speaks the word that he gave me to speak to establish his reign and his rule wherever he's assigned me. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you.